Greetings, Guardian. I am focusing my will, preparing myself to step into the ritual space once again. When I first transformed, I thought I might become something greater. Instead, my doubts fell away and I found myself simplified. Refined. Though I became Hive, I was more... myself. I mentioned that to Ikora and she furrowed her brow. I told her she would have time to worry later. But now, I need tithes. Sword logic may be high philosophy, but your tithes of power are real. And when I absorb them, it feels like hope. Fight in my name, Guardian. Every opponent you defeat strengthens me, from Shaxx's crucible to Savathun's own throne world. The Hive believe that only the strongest have earned their existence. If a queen cannot hold her power, she must be betrayed. I will not deny them their dogma. I will embody it. Logic, the impetus of the hive. Oryx, the Taken King, brother to Savathun and Zivu Arav, sought whispers from the worms of fundament and dredged this truth from the deep. All things must prove their right to exist. The rest will die in terror. There is neither escape, nor exemption. Simple. Essential. Beautiful to know. Oryx led his sisters down the bladed path. We have tested ourselves against horrors. We emerge... changed. Through this, we become stronger. We become free. We will avail ourselves of our enemy's tools. Zivu Arath believes every death proves the sword logic. That she unveils the false shape of the Traveler's lie by her blade. But she needs her truth. She is desperate for its vindication. She wishes for a world without grief, or pity, or doubt. Not baleful, not beautiful. A childish cry. The high call us liars, the unfree, deniers of the all-edged truth. But I take the power the sword logic offers not out of desperation, but desire. For Crota. Oryx. Savathun. their killers as a knife. The Hive know this truth as well as any logic. I am here, and they are not. I am
high flight to the ritual circle. got a lesson in sword logic today. You think you can defeat Sibu Arath with philosophy? <laughs> right. Let me show you something. Sabathun kept records, and I took a look at what she had on her sister. Got a recording from way back, just after you guardians dropkicked Oryx into Saturn's orbit. Call it a primary source for your little research project. Our brother is dead. I will take my revenge as he fought for his son. Revenge? For what? The dead deserve to die. That's your own logic. Or it was a hypocrite, and so are you. He loved us. He made of our death. Heard we have some uh, strange bedfellows. Though, if a bedfellow ain't strange, then they're probably not worth having. So it seems. Have you come to urge caution? To advise against temptation? Nah. You know what you're about. But I'm wondering, what's it like? It begins as a... Feral surmise. A suspicion. I hear whispers, but they are in my voice. It rises until I am screaming. I make a demand. 
An atavistic fear now sublimated into a singular, desperate urge. A hunger I must endlessly sate. But the Hive are not afraid. They are awestruck. They know that I am vengeance. And they have conjured me back with vengeance. Ooh, sounds like a wild ride. I seek to subvert the Hive's flawed logic. I may only do so because of what I am. And what I am not. It is a wild ride. Hey. I'll be there when you're on the other side of this. As will I. Trust. Surprise, sunshine. Thought I'd hack this old holotech and say hello. I don't like this whole let's work together plan, but I don't have to. I've got my orders. Let me play something for you. Tomorrow, if I am indisposed, bide your time. The witness will force the Vanguard's hand eventually, and they'll realize they need information only I possess. One of them will be open to a bargain. Not Mara again, poor dear. More likely Ikora, or her gloomy little hanger-on, Ares. Give them any help they ask. They'll all be worth it in the end. And tell them something clever, to make them think that this was their idea. You get all that, Guardian? Sabathun wants me to give you the soft sell. But that's not really my style. So, go ahead. Bust up the throne world. Get as strong as you like. Tithe to Eris until she's fat as a tick. It's all part of Sabathun's plan. Oh, you need any help digging your own grave? Just let me know. 